Hi friends, it's Julia. I am here with my One Kit 12 cards for June 2023. And I'm starting with a kit that I purchased back in 2021, or sorry, 2020. Uh, and it's from this catalog from Close to My Heart. It's a pre-made kit. And all you have to do is basically put it together. And you get, this one had 16 cards that you could create, uh, four of each. And this is the stamp set that came with. These are the products. There's some envelopes and cards. There's some bitty blings. There's a die set, a stamp set, and then of course the papers. And it shows you, it gives you uh, an information sheet that comes along with it to tell you how to put things together, what inks to use, that sort of thing. Anywho, so here is the instruction guide here, and it goes through how to cut the papers, how to stamp, all of that jazz to create all the cards with just this amount of supplies. But you guys know me, I don't always go with just what's in this kit. I always think that I need to have more. So let me show you what I have put in with this kit. There is the stamp set and here are the card bases and envelopes and then there is the they're called glitter gems they're bitty blings um, that came along with the packet now i have added in these flatback pearls in the green color and these what are they called um jewels they're just really pretty little gold jewels. And then I've added a ton of uh, additional cardstock uh, in cream and brown. I've added in some gold glitter paper. Uh, I think there's three sheets here, four sheets. Yeah, four sheets here. Now, if I use it, I use it. If I don't, I don't. With any of these things, it can always go back into my stash. So that's where I'm starting with that. And then along with the papers, you get two of the craft, three of the um, off-white color, uh, French vanilla, and then the pattern papers. You get three with the sunflowers and then three with the green backgrounds. And then of course these dark brown dotted uh, border strips come along here. I'm going to start here. I'm probably going to add some stamps in. I'm probably going to add a few additional embellishments as I go along, but we'll see as I go where I end up. So, but this is where I'm starting. Whatever I have at the end, um, I will show you. I also pulled in some uh, dies. I pulled in these scallops, these scallops and rectangles. I have two scallopy squares, if you will. And then this set with bumblebees and um, honeycomb on there. So, yeah, I'm going to go through here and look for inspiration because not only do they have inspiration with just the card kit, but there's also additional things that might use bits and pieces of uh, the papers and things that I have. I'd like to make more cards, and sometimes you can find the inspiration you need in the... Uh, magazine that it came out in or the catalog that it came out in so there's tons of stuff in here uh, to play with uh, and then tons of inspiration from this guide so we'll see what I create in just a minute be right back okay friends I am done with my one kit 12 cards or for this instance 16 cards because the kit that I started with was to make 16 cards. Anywho, let me show you the things that I did use. I did pull in this die from Momenta. Um, and there's a B border die on here. And I used that as well as the... I used the B border and then I used from this Momenta uh, background stamp or background cutting template with the honeycomb. I uh, used this and cut it down into pieces for the cards that I created. And I only used one of these, two of those, right? Yeah, because there's one, two, three large bees and one, two, three, four small bees. Anywho, I used a stamp that came with, and it has dies. Uh, and you can see here, this is the leftover from the bees. That's the only one that I have left. It's teeny tiny little bee stamp or bee punch out and then I have uh, this one shape that I had stamped die cut and colored 
Um, I used this um, Just a Number set from Close to My Heart. Um, mostly this one that says Birthday Greetings, but I did use Old Age Isn't So Bad Considering the Alternative as well. Uh, bling I used each of the three packs that I pulled in I pulled it I had a duplicate of that so I pulled it to use but I, you can see I I didn't use a terrific amount that one I only used three bits but I mostly used from there scraps I have them <laughs> you can see all the little scraps of paper here uh, and then I have some bigger pieces as well and this one I actually fussy cut some flowers from here so there's that left. I have a portion of a gold piece. I have a larger, I think this is vanilla from Close to My Heart. And then I have the chocolate uh, from the 8.5 by 11. And I have a lot of the 8.5 by 11 used or left over, even though I use quite a bit. I think total from the gold, the um, off white, and the brown, I used a total of seven pieces of this paper. And then from the 12 by 12, the only pattern papers that I have are the scraps. I still have a sh full sheet of the, um, I think it's vanilla, um, and then the craft color. So, uh, the other thing that I pulled in are these stickles, um, glitter drops from Nuvo, stickles from Ranger, and then these are glitz glitter gel from Close to My Heart. So I used all three of those. And then I did pull in a few little scraps from my scrap bin here. And let me show you the cards that I created. Now with the card kit came the inspiration guide to show you how to cut and create the cards that are shown here. Let me start with the first one that I created. And it was to look like this. So I started to cut out all the pieces of paper, but I really didn't care for the uh, cream color in the background. It just, it didn't feel right to me. So uh, what I did was I just left the craft piece up at the top. Ever, otherwise I followed the direction. It had bling on here and instead of using the glitter bling, I used these uh, flat back pearls. So I did that one exactly like the sketch on the inside. It says birthday greetings. This one, same but different because I used the different colors of bling. So then I thought, okay, I'm not going to do four cards of that. So let me go on to what I'm going to do next. So I moved on to this one. And so I started creating. And I pulled out some bits of paper. To create these three you can see I use the glitter bits in the center of these flowers and then I use the green uh, flat back pearls here and then I use different little bits of scraps from all the different cards and then you can see they're all the same birthday greetings on the inside I colored all of the um, bull skull uh, the same way so there's nothing different on those And I think this one and this one, I tilted just a wee bit. This one was straight up and down. So then I decided I wanted to do something different. You know, I, I don't always follow along with the directions. This one called for strips of paper in the background. Uh, and then the banner cut piece here, which I like. Um, but I wasn't feeling the strips of paper. So instead, I used the green as the background and then the floral on top, put my banner shape on there. I didn't put it up as high as on the inspiration. I left it kind of in the middle, but over to one side. Um, I did the same thing on here and here that they did, but I put the glitter bling here and then the flat back pearls here, just to add a little extra dimension. And on the inside of those, it says birthday greetings. And so I did two of those that are exactly the same. And then I decided I wanted to play some more, right? Uh, the only one that I had not done so far was, I think, well, no, maybe I did them all. This one, 
I, I didn't do this one. I wasn't feeling it, y'all. For whatever reason, I think it's because the sentiment was up here. It, it just didn't feel good. So, what I opted to do was uh, gold standard. I went to Pinterest. I found a couple of places over there that I was inspired by. And so, here's what I created. Uh, these three cards are just alike. Um, I fussy cut the papers. And I used the gold stickles on the flowers. I used the uh, bronze glitz inside the flowers. And then I used the gold... No, wait. I used this one. The Nuvo glitter drops in silver moon dust on the wings. So you can see, maybe you can. It gives it a really pretty iridescent. And then I did use my Aspen, um, Aspen Gold Nuvo, um, what do they call this? Mica Mist. You can see all the mica powder down in the bottom with the gold on it. It just needs to be shaken up really well. But yeah, I used that on the bees. I punched out the bees out of this cream color cardstock, and then I used just a black uh, ink from close to my heart to uh, color um, the bees. You can see on the back side of the wing, it's still white or cream color. I uh, cut apart the uh, pieces here to go into the background. All three of these are the same, but a little bit different depending on how I cut the bees down. Like this one has the extra bee at the bottom. This one has it at the top. This one has it at the top. And then birthday greetings on the inside. So then I decided I wanted to play some more. And I kept looking back at this card with the bull head in the uh, bull skull in the center here and I thought I want to do because I had already stamped die cut and colored in all the bulls I wanted to do something more with them to use them up so I did these four cards yeah um so here you can see this is where I pulled in the um pattern scrap from my leftover bowl um, I used the florals that I had stamped out I cut these from the arrows um, on this one you can see the floral cluster in the midst of the arrow and if you look closely here you can see where I cut off the arrow bits um, I had some little bees left over so I used a little bee up on the corner um, again inspired by Pinterest these are all the same, but different. I used the flat back pearls on here. I used those gold blings there. And I used the, bitty, the glitter blings on both of these. But they're all the same style. Um, yeah. And on the inside, old age is, isn't so bad considering the alternative. I felt like if you see a skull, mm, you might think a little bit about old age. So that was appropriate phrase for that. So there are those four. And then finally, uh, my last two, again, I went to Pinterest, found some inspiration over there. I had already stamped out these images and colored in, so I used them. Uh, these are exactly the same. That's a border strip and then a scrap of the gold. And then on the inside, birthday greetings. So there we go. There are 16 cards that I created with my kit. Only one bull head that I did not um, use, but that'll go into my leftover bin uh, to use at some point. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, which one is your favorite of all the ones that I have created today? I'm hard pressed. Um, there's a couple that I like a little bit more than the others. I like these only because of the creativity that it that it called for in doing these. I wasn't originally going to put all this glitter uh, stickle on the flowers, but I think it turned out terrific. I love this one because it really shows off that skull head. Same here. I love these. These I put the um, glitter blings inside the skull or in the flowers on the skull, but these I didn't and I think it just shows, makes it feel more of a skull, if you will. I love the simplicity of this one and this one. Um, and I really love the simplicity of both of these as well. So, um, 
favorites, I think I'm going to say this one. Yeah, that one. So which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, friends, I will see you on the next video. I will see you on the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.